Hi everyone, talk about stuff here. Um, just a, I say a quick one, but I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I'll try and be as quickly as possible. Uh, this is a talk about the PC gaming master race. Um, I'd like to start off by saying that I'm not tarnishing all PC players here with the same brush um, and I'd like to make it very clear that I don't care what you game on whether you have a PC, a console, some other device, Steambox, um, anything, and, you know, Android, iPhone, if you like to play games, you like to play games I really don't care how you game. All I care about is that you like to play games and you support developers when they deserve to be supported. Um, but there are the uh, the elite PC gaming master race who are a cut above the rest. Now, like I said, this isn't all PC gamers. I know many PC gamers who uh, love playing games and don't care if you're a console peasant. But there are some, and I'm going to use an example today because it really got to me. Uh, with the release of Fallout 4, we there's been a little bit of a, a thing over the graphics, especially that on the PC. Is it going to be optimized? Is it going to run at 60 frames per second? Are you going to be able to yeah, etc etc? Now, getting into graphics and games is a little different. But because um, I believe graphics don't make a great game, uh, but there's, there's nothing wrong with wanting to make your games as look as good as possible. I can understand that. I mean, when I run up my, my console and I switch on my PlayStation and I put in a, a new game and it looks beautiful, I, I must say I, I, I admire the scenery. I sit back, I go, wow, look at that on a console on my 1080p TV with just a HDMI but um, there are some who will call me out for it they will say you are not a real gamer you are a peasant because you, you don't spend and I know this isn't true for all PC gamers you can build a decent gaming rig for quite a low price nowadays sometimes even the price of a console but uh, if you spend five grand on a PC game, um, on a PC, on a gaming PC, uh, well done. You have that money, you can spend it however you like. Just, there's no need for you to, to brag about it. It's the same with anything. And I can understand if you have a nice PC that you've built, it's cost you a lot of money, you want to show it off. You want to post pictures on Facebook, look at my new rig, that's excellent, that's good, encourage discussion. But when you go, look at my PC gaming, you console peasants, be a real gamer, fuck off back to wherever you come from, no, no, there's no need for that. Can't we all just get along? You like to game on a high-end PC and I like to game on a console, that's cool. The the uh, examples I saw today are from a, a guy I used to know a while back, and his posts on Facebook have been getting to me a little bit more lately. He doesn't doesn't post anything other than PC Master Race crap. Um, why? I don't know. I I asked him. I called him out on it. If I do admit. I, I wasn't being a, uh, a douchebag online. I wasn't saying, "Oi, you dickhead! You know, uh, you know, consoles better than PC, so leave us alone, you fucking douchebag, or anything like that." That's that's not what I was doing at all. Um, he was pointing out that he hates having a 4K monitor because so much stuff can be on the screen at once. PC gaming master race problems. What else was there? This is why I like having... Uh, I've deleted him as a friend now. So, well, he deleted my comments to off with. And I didn't like that because I wasn't being a dickhead. I was just making some valid points. Uh, but he deleted my comments, so I deleted him as a friend. So I can't go back and see the posts now, I'm not allowed. But there are other posts related to uh, gaming. And um, other ones included. 
oh, this is why I have a triple core, triple, three processors, three graphics cards, SSLI or whatever modded annual is just to run Fallout 4 and ultra settings. Um, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool you can, uh, it's cool you can do that. But, um, why, why, are you, why are you complaining about it? Why are you, why are you saying it's a problem? Are you just trying to make me jealous? Are you trying to make other people jealous? You've brought up the fact that you've purchased three Fallout 5 games. Okay. One for your PlayStation 4s, which I know you have several of, which you get for free because you you know post that all over Facebook. Um, oh, oh, I wish I screen grabbed these for you guys. They were fantastic. They were... <sighs> just got to calm myself. But, but what is the need for it? What is the need for you to shout from the rooftops that you're more superior to me because you have a, a, a gaming PC that's capable of churning out the highest graphics known to man? Uh, is it worth it? Do you get a better experience? I mean, fantastic if you say you do, that's great. But uh, there's no need for you to have a go at me because I don't game on the PC. It's not really fair, is it? I'm not having a go at you because you game on a PC. Really? Well, that's what it comes down to. Just preference, platform preference. Sure, maybe PC gaming is superior. You, well, I use the term, you know, air quotes there for superior because cheaper games, you know, the one platform modding, all this. You can do a lot on the PC, which you can't on a console. But um, for those who don't have a large budget or who like to game with their friends on their couch, and I know you can use a console on your PC, but loading up Steam and all that, no, just switch on your console. Plug in your controller, you don't even need to do that nowadays. Load up a game and you're good to go. You're gaming in minutes. Like, what? You, am, I, am, I not, am, I, am I not a gamer? Be, because I, I don't have a, a two grand system. Am, am I not a gamer because I, I, I don't, you know, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this. You can see where I'm going. Well, you can hopefully see where I'm going. Um, there's no need for all this argument all the time. Whenever I go on to see, not whenever, but you know, you do see it around. PC gaming master race. Way. I know 4chan and being on that console. Filthy fucking peasants. Get the fuck off my fucking gaming channel, you fucking cunts. All that bollocks. There's no need for it. And sure, there's douchebag console owners too who will have a go at you for owning a PC, but there'll be douchebags no matter what. Why are you being a douchebag? What is the need for it? If somebody posted a picture of a car that they bought on Facebook, fantastic. This is my new baby, excellent. That looks nice, I'll give you a like. But if you go, I've bought this new car, and all you fucking peasants have to walk. I'm not going to be happy with that. Are you going to be happy with that? No. And then if they keep posting those pictures again and again and again, you fucking walking peasants, go get the bus, you filthy casual, you're not going to be happy. So why are we allowed to get away with it when it comes to consoles and PCs? Can't we all just get along? We all like playing games. We all like hopefully playing with friends though of course the solo experience is fantastic sometimes better than the multiplayer experience in my personal opinion but, but, but what's, what's the need what is the need none there's no need for it so um why don't you just grow the fuck up that's it grow the fuck up i like pc I like a console. You like PC. You don't like a console. But don't make me feel bad about myself because I don't like what, you know, I don't have what you have or I like something you don't. Just fuck off. You know what? I'm glad I don't have you under the friend anymore because I was just getting more and more pissed off. And this was long overdue. 
I wish I could take you in this. But I'm not that mean. I don't like making other people feel insignificant. Unlike you. You PC gaming master race cunt. This has been a talk about stuff. Have yourself a good day.